Okay, so this is our 63, uh, 327, 360 horsepower fuel injected Stingray convertible. It's an NCRS top flight award winner. Um, it uh, won its award many years ago. Uh, we do have the documentation. And for the car to be in this condition after that kind of extensive restoration shows that it will be like this uh, just about probably forever. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I call it like it is. Uh, I don't see it. There's no bubbles in the paint. Uh, the interior is immaculate. Um, the frame off restoration that was done on this car was an extensive restoration uh, with no, uh, no expenses spared. Um, and the car is just magnificent. And like I said, uh, you guys who have uh, restored cars know that uh, after a few years, you start to see bubbles in the paint. You start to see imperfections coming out and on this car I could show you that there is there really is nothing uh, it's just absolutely amazing so I'm gonna give you a little uh, look at the uh, under the hood right now so let's go ahead and pull on that and take a look at how nice the engine bay is on this car and, you know, uh, if you look for older Corvettes, even younger Corvettes than this, when you start opening up the hood and start looking inside, you see ugly things. Uh, and on this car, it hasn't even been detailed. Uh, we haven't armor-rolled anything. Uh, we didn't play any games here. Everything you see here is exactly the way it should be. The Rochester fuel injection uh, is, um, is, it works perfectly. And uh, you see the original factory markings uh, here. Um, we, uh, I'll show you an original factory marking also on, even on the radiator. Uh, so uh, this car is, is unlike the other cars. I try to find Corvettes in the 70s and 80s that don't even look this good. So we'll put the hood down on this one. And... I didn't push the latch in, so that was my error. So we'll push the latch in and the hood will close properly. What I do want to show you is also when you start looking at older Corvettes, you look at the door jams. The door jams get ugly on 70s, 80s, even 90s vets. And look at the door jams on this car. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at the seats the console, all the gauges, and all the gauges work. Even the clock works on this car, which is truly unusual. I'll show you the other door jam. Uh, look at the tail, tail light lenses. The chrome on the car is magnificent. It's got stainless steel exhaust. Um, take a look at those lights. All the emblems. Uh, are just like brand new. The hubcaps on this car, they're uh, the original hubcaps, uh, the original style hubcaps. If they've been replaced with the originals, uh, doesn't bother me as long as they're the correct ones. And if you'll notice, this part right here should be shiny. And if it's brushed, then it's not the proper uh, hubcaps for the car. So let's take a look at this door jam. And you'll see how nice and how clean and how beautiful it is. Go try to find a Corvette like this. You're just not going to find a car that's even 20 years newer than this one. So that's the reason why we purchased this car. And we've had it for now, I guess, a, about a year and a half, maybe two years. And it's just a stunning car. It stops traffic. It's the real deal. There are no excuses for this car. Uh, it is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, everything is straight. The sides are laser straight. Uh, there's no waves in the car. It's probably even done better than uh, it, when it came from the factory. So um, we're getting ready to put this on, bring a trailer 
and uh, we welcome you to ask any questions if you like. I'll be glad to answer your questions and look forward to uh, to the sale. So uh, have a great day and we'll speak to you probably this week or so. Bye-bye.